This week I've been having a look at the Volkswagen Multivan. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. <laughs> Installing child seats in the back of the multivan was really nice and easy. So in the second row you've got two individual seats, they both have Isofix, they're not within plastic guides and they're quite buried within that seat base and I found them a little bit tricky to connect to. On the back of both seats there's top tether points, they're right down the bottom at the back. So I actually found with this rear facing child seat I needed an extension strap but with the capsule on the other side I didn't. Now I've put two rear facing child seats in there, there's plenty of room in the back here so you really could put whichever seats you wanted in there. In the third row there's Isofix in the two outer seats and there's top tether across the back of all three. Again those Isofix are a bit buried and not within plastic guides and a little bit tricky to connect to. The top tethers are nice and high at the top and really easy to connect through the boot. Accessing the third row is really simple. I've been going through from the front or these seats just slide like this and you can access through here and walk through to the back. It really is fantastic the access in here. I've found this week that I've gone through from one of these sides to the other or through here, put my daughter in and then step through to the front. It really has changed the way that I use a car and I'm not always just accessing from the driver's seat. Like I'd put my daughter in on the other side and then walk through from there to the driver's seat. So it really didn't matter where I parked. Which is one of the things I've really enjoyed about the multivan. The second row seats also turn around. So you can create a bit of a lounge room in the back there. But you can't travel along with the car seats the other way around, especially not with a child seat installed. Second row storage really is minimal. There are mat pockets in the back of both front seats. They will hold and conceal an iPad. And in the back of both of the second row seats are these drawers that pull out. We found them really useful on road trips to put our daughter's things in. However, there's no cup holders back here and that's something that we've really noticed is lacking in here. Storage in the front of the multivan is actually pretty good. Now there's no central console here because it's got a lovely big walkthrough to the back of the van. Instead on the dash you've got a pull out with two cup holders in. I found they'd hold a reusable or a disposable coffee cup and there's also a plastic bin that goes in there too. Below that is another pull out. Now I could get a large refillable water bottle in there but you might be able to get a cheeky wine bottle in there too. In front of the cup holders is another storage area, there's a cigarette lighter in there and I found it a great place to store my phone. On the left there's two glove boxes, they're both nicely lined. The bottom one I found a bit small, I could only get my wallet in there and the top one's got the manual in but it also has your USB points and AUX. On the dashboard there's another big lined storage box which is good and it's got a good lid. The door bins are really nice and big in the front here. I could get my large refillable water bottle in there with my iPad, 600ml and there's a big bin that goes in there too. There is another storage well above that and I found it a good place for my phone or my wallet, something like that. In the back of the multivan there is storage behind these two outside panels and in some models they have a good storage drawer in there. Behind the central panel there are two tabs which you pull to move this entire row backwards and forwards and to collapse down this backrest. With a 182 centimetre passenger in front and behind a rear facing child seat, the boot space allowed me to put 20 shopping bags in. Or the mountain buggy duet twin stroller and 9 shopping bags. Or the Brightax flex tandem stroller and 14 shopping bags. Or the mountain buggy urban jungle single stroller and 10 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and 16 shopping bags or two large dogs. With the third row seats in the furthest back position I could fit eight shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller fitted with three shopping bags or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller fitted with no shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Stroller fitted with four shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller fitted with four shopping bags. The multivan is actually surprisingly nice to drive. It's not intimidating around town or out on the open road. It's really, really enjoyable and it's pretty smooth for a van like this. And the high seating position makes visibility good too. 
The media system in the multivan is quite modern. It's a small screen though, and it is quite nice and easy to use. And it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. When you put it into reverse, the camera image is quite clear, but again, it's got that small screen. And you can turn the parking sensors off with a button on the screen, or there's a button on the dashboard. So to sum up with the multivan, I've really enjoyed it this week. I can get five child seats in the back, which is fab, and I can move around the vehicle really easy, which has been great. It's just that that interior storage is really lacking. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au